costs of the refrigeration cycle present in an interlinked manner where you have the refrigerant passing through them. Now, for the centralized, on the other hand, the cooling to all of the spaces, all of the zones um, that you're dealing with is being provided by a central plant which is present in a single location. So let's say you have uh, one location which is responsible to generate the whole cooling requirements, which is then transferred to provide the cooling requirements to the entire space. Now the first example we're going to use for a decentralized HVAC system is the window HVAC. Now this is a very basic HVAC system which is one of the oldest systems that most probably you've seen at one point or another. Where you have all of the